Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today we will be making for you our pink limeade soap. This soap will be for sale starting May 1st and it is a really good tiptoe into the citrus forward summer months for us. Just like all of our other soap, we will add our lye water solution into our signature blend of plant-based oils, and those oils can be found in the description box below. We will just use our stick blender here to get that mixture up to a light trace. Once that mixture is to a light trace, we will then strain in our colloidal oatmeal and water slurry this slurry goes into all of our soap and it gives the the colloidal oatmeal at least gives the soap a nice silky skin feel and kind of is soothing to the skin as well it's a really good additive all around we then will add in our fragrance oil which is called hot pink lime from nature's garden we actually found this fragrance from royalty soap it was in their collection of fragrances that Nature's Garden had, and we had to check out all of them. They all were really great, which is no surprise. Royalty Soap is one of the mainstay soap-making YouTube channels. It's where we learn a lot of our techniques and things from, so definitely go check them out if you don't know about them and just watch our videos because Katie Carson is a really entertaining and a wealth of soap making knowledge. While I've been chatting, I have broken down our soap base into three separate containers. The two little containers are gonna have a custom pink mica blend. I was trying to go for a neon pink color mica. We didn't have a neon pink mica on hand. So this is a blend of a couple different pinks and I think it did a good job pink mica in soap base kind of looks strange until the soap has fully cured and you'll see what I mean uh, at the end of the video here once it's all cured the pink is a lot more vivid than what it looks like on camera and then for the green it is an apple green mica from brambleberry that's been a kind of our go-to limey green color Recently, we have just recently purchased it and we are really big fans. I am then going to do a technique that we have never done before, and that is using a hanger swirl. The hanger swirl technique is pretty commonplace. We just haven't had the tool. It's not an expensive tool either, so I'm not sure why we didn't ever pick that up, but we have it now, so you'll see us using that a lot. We are gonna put all of our uncolored soap base into the Heritage Workshop Supply slab mold, and then we will do a couple passes with that pink soap base and then the green soap base as well. And I'm not paying too much attention to if I'm pouring directly on top of the pink or green batter. I'm trying to line it up, but it's not a huge deal one way or the other. And we'll just do a couple passes of that just so we have a good blend of pink and green and then that uncolored soap base as well. I will be reserving a little bit of each batter, soap batter, to do a design on the top so we won't be pouring all of this in just yet. A hanger swirl um, just uses a coated piece of wire that is pretty rigid and then you just swirl it in your soap mold so you'll see me doing that here just doing some random swirls i think looking back i would just do one a swirl one way or the other i wouldn't mix it up the top here does look a little muddy which was concerning but you'll see here in the end that you don't really notice that at all and there's really good distinct swirls so I am a big fan just in general. We will now come back in with the remainder of our pink and our green soap base to do some stripes from front to back. 
And then if you've watched our videos, especially recently, you're gonna be able to guess what we're gonna be doing, and that is doing some feathering designs on the top with that green and pink soap base. This citrus fragrance oil is getting us really excited for July soaps. We always do citrus in July, kind of like Christmas in July. It's a really lame joke, but we do it every year, and um, citrus soaps are just one of our favorites, so we can't wait to get to that. All right, so we are going to be feathering the top of our soap, and we, like always, don't want to go too deep into the soap batter because we don't want to mess up those beautiful hanger swirls that we just made a couple minutes earlier, but we also don't want to make the top too muddy by blending the colors together too much, so we'll just do a couple passes, just alternating directions from side to side. One thing, at least with our soap molds, is that they're not square. They do look almost square, but they're just ever so slightly, um, it's ever so slightly longer than it is wide. And so when we first started making soap in these molds, it was pretty common for us to make the design sideways, and then it kind of just messes everything up. So the handles are front and back. That's an easy way. That's how we remember it. We have put some pink shift white iridescent mica on the top and then tucked that soap away for 24 hours and now it is time to unmold. So we will just take that silicone mold off one of the most satisfying parts, especially with a fragrance oil like this. The batter set up perfectly, the release was really clean, which is what we love to see. And then we will break this soap slab down into soap loaves. The soap cutter is a little dirty looking and that is from our bergamot and black tea soap, which you can actually watch how we made that video. I'll put a card up in one of the corners, um, but it is a dark brown and you can actually see it right above the cutter. So it's not actually dirty and the color doesn't transfer to the soap that I'm currently breaking down. So no worries there. We do wash the soap cutters between uses in terms of days, but maybe not necessarily if we're cutting one fragrance back to back like we did today. And now you can see those beautiful swirls with that hanger technique that we used. Big, A big fan of this technique. We'll be bringing this back and it does look different than our normal drop swirl that we have been doing pretty regularly from day one. They're a little more angular and they're a little finer of swirls, which is a really pretty technique, so we can't wait to experiment and see what it looks like maybe with all the colors of the rainbow, for example. So we'll definitely be trying out a lot of different combinations of colors and uh, techniques and everything like that. I'd be curious what are soap scents or designs that you look forward to or would like us to try out. We love to get ideas from our audience members, so leave those in the comments below. But that is it. That is how we make our pink limeade soap, which like I said before, will be for sale May 1st online and at any in-person events. If you want to support the channel, we do have a subscription program where you can get monthly soap from us, shout outs at the end of our videos, and some other fun perks. So check that out on our website, rainbowcrafts.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see what Rainbow Crafts comes up with 